Welcome again to Good Libations, our show about mixology. I'm Ethel Andrews. I'm a mixologist. And as you know, we've been talking about using liquid nitrogen to make cocktails. And without special equipment, that's virtually impossible. Again, it involves getting the liquid nitrogen, putting it in that container called a dewer with a double, um, actually it's a double walled container with a glass insert. And then we have to use special bowls, special uh, tools, special techniques, <coughs> excuse me, in order to do that. But we're just going to use a shaker. But again, this particular cocktail, which is known as the French Kiss, is actually specifically designed to use with liquid nitrogen. And it also is quite a potent drink. And a little bit of a caveat about liquid nitrogen. You can actually pour it directly in a cocktail to freeze it. But you'd better make sure that it has dispersed fully and that all that smoke is gone. Because a young girl in Britain had a horrifying experience with a liquid nitrogen prepared cocktail. And of course, naturally, the establishment that this occurred at was held liable. But she swallowed the drink when there was still liquid nitrogen residue in it, and she ended up having to have part of her stomach removed because the liquid nitrogen actually damaged her stomach. So if a person is going to do that, which is not recommended, add it directly to the cocktail. Again, you have to make sure it is absolutely dispersed and there's no more of that smoky, gaseous appearance. And incidentally, because liquid nitrogen uh, simply goes back into the atmosphere and most of our air is composed anyway of nitrogen, it's not dangerous as far as inhaling it is concerned. And if you get small droplets on your skin, it's not dangerous. But it is recommended that if you're going to use it and use the mixing bowl method, which is the only method that you really should use, you need to wear special gloves that are designed for that purpose, safety gloves. But anyway, we're going to use a shaker, a conventional method. And I'm going to go ahead and fill the shaker with ice to make this lovely cocktail, the French Kiss. And again, we're going to use um, to disperse this into a quasi margarita glass because for display purposes, I think it shows the beauty of the drink. And because it's kind of two leveled versus a martini glass, you get a nice uh, visual with the drink as well. So to begin with, this drink incorporates vodka. And again, these drinks are actually quite potent which you can get away with doing with liquid nitrogen, but drunk by themselves, your shaker method. Better be careful not to overdo. And then we're going to add some orange liqueur. If I wasn't such a, a tightwad, I would use Cointreau, but don't have deep pockets, so I'm using triple sec. Orange curacao would be very good to use as well. And then I'm going to add some cherry hearing which, by the way, is decidedly not an inexpensive liqueur. It's made in Denmark, and it's actually a lovely liqueur, but it is not inexpensive by any stretch of the imagination. You better have um, somewhat deep pockets to, to buy it, and better use it judicially, or judiciously, I should say, because uh, we don't want to waste what is truly good. And with this cocktail, too, we add a bit of heavy cream, just a bit. And as I mentioned, we're going to shake it. And I'm going to go ahead and dispense it into the glass. And you get an appearance that uh, kind of approximates um, a little confection, you might say. Rather attractive appearance, in fact. And once again, too, I'm going to use a peach garnish in this particular drink because 
it marries better with the flavors than anything citrus would. We could use orange, but I think peach adds a special dimension to this drink also. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, once again, if we had prepared this with liquid nitrogen, I'd be using a metal mixing bowl with a handle. I'd be using safety gloves and I would be using a spoon and we'd be stirring it. And instantaneously that drink would basically become the consistency of a slushy type drink, but a little more firm. And then I would take a spoon and add it to the glass. And as it continued to melt, it would become drinking consistency. And that's an important point too, because we don't want any gas still showing up in the drink because of the dangers associated with that. And also a gentleman in Spain, sad to say, who was preparing uh, liquid nitrogen drinks, he didn't handle the liquid nitrogen quite properly. And he ended up having an accident, sad to say, where one of his fingers was blown off. Don't ask me precisely how that happened, but this, again, is something that you have to be specially trained to do in order to handle it properly and achieve a proper result. But anyway, we're going to taste this drink, the French Kiss, and see if it lives up to the hype, even in just shaken form. Oh, yes, that is quite nice, and you can really taste the hint of the cherry hearing. You can taste the orange independently, and the vodka just adds power to it. But this is a nice drink. Very, very pleasant drink. But you can see once again where overdoing it and having maybe more than one, it would catch up with you. It's stronger than a Long Island iced tea. And it would be better yet if it were prepared with liquid nitrogen because it tends to um, kind of take away from the alcohol flavor. And sometimes, too, if you prepare drinks with liquid nitrogen, you have to use extra simple syrup because it tends to produce a drier flavor, even with somewhat sweet ingredients like the orange liqueur and the cherry herring. But again, that is a lovely drink. I, I like it even in shaken form. And it's quite interesting that Starbucks and other upscale espresso bars, you might say, are starting to use liquid nitrogen to prepare coffee because it puts on a show. It's like going to Benihana's, but for cocktails or other beverages. And you get to see the beauty of the drink exhibited. You get kind of a show. And then you have the beverage itself, which is unusually good because coffee that is made with liquid nitrogen or any of these espresso type drinks is exceptionally good. Really, really tasty, very different. In fact, even better than cold brewed coffee. And as I always mention um, in the course of my shows, we always want to keep our community in mind, our reputations in mind. Let's keep our community well spoken of and safe by being cautious about the amount of alcohol that we consume. And especially if we're going to consume a drink that is somewhat potent. We want to be careful that we're not imbibing too many. Because it doesn't look good, you know, as far as our reputation is concerned. And we put other people in danger if we get behind the wheel. So always be careful and always remember that saying that alcohol can lengthen the tongue but narrow the mind. So let's enjoy in moderation. And thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Good Libations. Again, I'm Ethel Andrews. I'm a mixologist. And we look forward to future episodes of our program as well. Thank you again for tuning in. Bye-bye.